Welcome to this video lecture, Mark Zithian, FA8 Licensed Aerospace Technician, Airframe Power Plant and Avionics Certified, June 21st, 2016. This video lecture will focus on gas piston engine brake horsepower, brake mean effective, pressure, torque, and efficiency. All power plants, engines, and motors have three types of horsepowers describing their ratio between usable power and power loss to keep the engine running. The first type of horsepower is called the IHP or the indicated horsepower. This simply is the total power involved, a sum of the power loss to keep the engine running plus the usable power available at the crankshaft. The brake horsepower BHP is simply the usable power at the crankshaft. And the friction horsepower is simply the power loss to keep the engine running. So the indicated horsepower is all power involved in the engine, losses and gains added together. And the brake horsepower is the total power involved in the engine, both losses and gains, minus the loss lost power to keep the engine running. So BHP is just simply the actual usable power you get to use at the crankshaft. So unless the engine rating has VHP, it's really not very accurate on what that engine can do. Very important to look for the brake horsepower. Brake mean effective pressure is the pressure exerted on the piston head during each power stroke, measured in pounds per square inch or PSI. So the BMEP is directly proportional to the brake horsepower and the foot-pounds torque output of the piston engine because force is equal to pressure times area as well as mass times acceleration. But if we focus purely on the pressure exerted on area, pounds per square inch times area, one pound per square inch on one square inch is one pound of force. So whatever the BMEP is, exerted against the piston head area, that will translate into the dynamic force the piston exerts on its power stroke downward. So that will be directly proportional to the brake horsepower and the foot-pound torque output of the engine. So if you have a two-stroke piston engine, you simply take the ratio of foot-pounds torque divided by the total cubic inch displacement of the engine and multiply it times 75.4 and you can mathematically calculate the BMEP on the piston head during each power stroke in a two-stroke piston engine. The same is true for the four-stroke engine except you just multiply the ratio between the foot-pounds torque output at a given RPM divided by the cubic inch displacement times 150.8. CID stands for total cubic inch displacement of piston engine. One liter is equal to 1,000 cubic centimeters. One cubic inch is equal to 16.38 cubic centimeters. One cubic centimeter is equal to 0 0.061 cubic inches. So now it's very easy to convert the liter displacement of the piston engine into cubic inches. So you can use this formula. The most accurate way to calculate piston engine brake horsepower is to use the Planck formula, which is the Planck divided by 33,000. But instead of the P, we're going to use BMEP because there's different types of pressure measurements. But the most important one to focus on is the pressure during the power stroke because that's where the actual BHP can be measured from. So I just replaced the P with B and E P because that's actually what it, how it should be if you're finding brake horsepower. So all you do is just uh, calculate the piston stroke in inches. You divide that by 12 to get the piston stroke in feet. The piston head area, that's the bore diameter in inches divided by 2. So you get the radius, then you square that, multiply it times 3.14 which is pi. 
uh, n is the number of power strokes per minute. On a two-stroke piston engine, that would be equal to the RPM. On a four-stroke piston engine, that would be equal to the RPM divided by two. Uh, K is the number of cylinders. If you seek the foot-pounds torque, you will need the brake horsepower and the RPM. That's simply one quantity of brake horsepower times 33,000. That quantity then divided into 6.28 times RPM. 6.28 represents one 360 degree rotation of, a, of the crankshaft measured in radians. 180 degrees rotation is equal to pi or 3.14, so 2 pi is 6.28 radians, but just to keep it simple, a lot of formulas use 2 pi, uh, 6.28 is the same thing. So just to keep it simple, you can use 6.28. Brake thermal, uh, <coughs> brake thermal efficiency, that's the ratio between the actual usable power output divided into the power input then times 100 to get percent thermal brake thermal efficiency. Usable power is equal to the brake horsepower you get to use, and the power input is equal to the power input in the form of burning fuel. So if we focus on the two common fuels that power piston engines, gasoline and diesel, gasoline has a heat energy content, potential energy of 20,000 BTU per pound, and weighs six pounds per one U.S. gallon. Diesel contains 19,300 BTU per pound heat energy content potential energy at a fuel density of 7.1 pounds per one U.S. gallon. So one BTU per second output is 1,056 watts, or 778 foot-pounds per second. One BTU per minute output is 17.6 watts, or 778 foot-pounds per minute. One V2 per hour, 0 0.293 watts, or 778 foot-pounds per hour. One horsepower is equal to 550 foot-pounds per second, which is equal to 33,000 foot-pounds per minute. One horsepower is 746 watts, or in the metric system, 746 joules per second. One horsepower is also 746 newton meters per second because one joule is a newton meter of work and then work divided by time is power. So newton meters per second is equal to joules per second for power. So all you have to do is just take the brake horsepower, multiply it times 33,000, then divide it by the pounds per minute fuel consumption times the V2 per pound of the given fuel, times 778. Take that quantity, multiply it times 100, and you will get the brake thermal efficiency of a heat engine, in this case, a gas piston engine. This would be a value when the engine has no load on it. If you want to actually measure the overall brake thermal efficiency when it's on a vehicle moving, you will have to factor in the losses from tire rolling resistance and aerodynamic drag. There's another video lecture I have that actually goes over the overall efficiency of an automobile that's powered by a piston engine. You can look for that video in the video library here on my YouTube channel and that will go over the details thereof regarding overall brake thermal efficiency of a piston engine on a moving vehicle. However, this video lecture focuses on the formulation in order to apply various power dynamics including brake horsepower, brake mean effective pressure, torque, and efficiency to a given gas piston engine after its certified specifications are accessed. Thank you for watching this video and have a good day.